Welcome, welcome, everybody, to episode one of the Oktoberfest. Spook season, hashtag spook season on TikTok. I feel spooky. My ass is fat James Charles this week. <laughs> I don't think, I think you've never looked better, to be honest. Like, you look just so good. Like, I didn't want to really? be, like, over the top when I came in because, like, I have my boyfriend here, but I was like, whoa. You were, you think that I'm attractive like this? Yeah. This no. is, like, no, I'm not kidding. This is, like, my ideal man. Like, I like a mask, what? but with, like, femininity to it. You look a little more Manny MUA because he's a little thick boy, too, and I think, like, you look like him more. I think I look like a monster just because <laughs> well, I shaved my face and I'm not used to seeing myself without a beard. Oh, yeah. The beard... Uh, hides my face and so I'm insecure without it but then with the makeup and everything and I think I'm f gained weight so I just look like a f big fat monster I disagree but glamorous, I disagree. no I you're like, like you're like the traditional fat girl that has a pretty face like oh my god your face is so pretty like that is your face oh that's so nice of you yeah <laughs> That girl with the pretty face. No, that's what people say to me. They're like, you'd be so pretty if you lost 30 pounds. Like, Howard Stern said it about me. He said I looked like Pamela Anderson if, if I lost 40 pounds. Like, she would look just like Pamela Anderson. I was like, oh, okay, thank you. When I was on America's Got Talent. He's so like, is, that a, is that a compliment? I mean, it's like a little insulting, but like, I mean, it's better than being a fat girl with an ugly face. Right. You know? Well, you see, yeah, right. You look great. You look, your face is your money maker. Like, honestly, I think your face is your best feature. And I think you should shave more. Mm, I like to hide my face. Well, who are you? Who are you dressed as? <laughs> okay, can I just say, I was just prefacing that I was going to start the Halloween episodes because I was going to come in costume in October, anyways, <laughs> and I didn't really put much thought into it. I just go with like the TikTok theme, so I was like, oh, I'm going to be like Elwood's legally blonde, just like cute and funny. But you like all your costumes are overshadowing me, and I already had mine all planned. So I'm like, oh fuck, I didn't know what you're going. Which is funny so. because you were bitching out at me <laughs> about not wanting to do it, and now I'm I'm all in. I know. I didn't know. And then know you kind of showed up. I'm underwhelmed. To <laughs> no, be honest. no, because. These are this all is like what, what how you dress every day. You're just like no, I have bunny ears on. Every no, every day in October I dress up in a costume. I have costumes planned for every single day. Every day. Yeah, I have every single day planned out. Yeah, but you should bring your best ones. But I didn't think you were gonna dress up, so I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna just bring like more casual ones. But I just wanted to preface that I'm coming in costume, so you're like, why is she dressed like a bunny today? So I was like prefacing that, yeah. and all of a sudden you and Ela just went like full force. I'm like, oh my god, yeah. we're gonna get his hair and makeup done. I was like, wait, what the? Like I would have come as someone. I could have come as like Jeffrey Star. I'm like, I could have come as step somebody. You shut up. Well, I didn't know. No, I can't. You have three I, more uh, chances. Because you have to plan. You guys are not planners. I'm a planner. I have to plan that's my costume, such, my makeup, just, my uh, hair. We talked ahead of time and and coordinated. No, I saved your guys' ass because. Okay, whatever. I look great. We don't need to argue about the fact that I look great. Because I know I look makeup great. Artist. I gave you guys my second. <laughs> I gave but you my second choice makeup artist, and you guys didn't book far enough in advance, so I was like, fuck. And so I was like, fine, use my first choice, I guess. Wait, you didn't want to give me your your star player because you didn't want me to overshadow <laughs> No, you? no, because then we couldn't start on time. Like, we're starting three hours oh, late, and I have okay. stuff to do. So I gave you my second one because you didn't, guys don't plan very well. He didn't get back to you in time, but I knew my girl's on top of shit, so I was like, all right, yeah, here's this her number. So um, I this is the first time I've gotten makeup, though. I do have – dude, <laughs> you do this, like, every day? Um, just like special days, not every day. I do a special days. Like how often do you do this? She um, says she's at your house twice a week. Twice a week. I was just gonna say twice That's a week. A lot. Yeah, because I, I do only. It takes lab. like two hours. On my own, it's three hours sometimes because of my hair. Your hair was like not as your much. Your face needs more work than mine. I don't think so. I think we look identical actually, which was so scary. I was like, I feel like we're gonna look the same. I do to... feel like I just look like a big fat James Charles though. Like <laughs> they nailed it. And unfortunately, yeah. I had a hairstyle. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I've got a, a <gasps> sick fresh fade, bro, with the vanilla ice and everything here. <laughs> it looks good. And it looks good. The, my only regret is that I cut my hair already because he could have done it like the perfect James Charles, like the poof. Yeah, I heard he wanted to like dye it and add hair to it and stuff. You guys are like, no. No, you should have just gone like full out and done it. I wanted to do it, but I don't no. have any hair. No, but he could have like added hair to it. Whatever. Anyways, you look great. And you do look like James Charles. You should do like, I don't know, maybe. I feel like you love James Charles Loki. <laughs> like, I feel like you're kind of like <clears throat> fond of him. Hmm. The way you were with me. Remember, you kind of like hated me, but then you're kind of like, oh, I kind of like fond of this person. No, I don't think so. I think he's just a douche, to be honest. I mean, after interacting with that. him. Yeah. I don't feel like you're, I feel like you're, I feel that you're crazy, but I don't think you're a douche. No, yeah, I get you. Yeah, I think he has a bad heart. I think he's a, a douche. Mm -hmm. I don't know if he, I, I don't know him well enough to say he has a bad heart, but like. He's pretty evil. That whole beauty community really? is evil. Like Tati I think and, he's evil? Yeah. What do you know about him? You know, I've never met him. Just everybody I know <clears throat> has like horrific experiences with him. Like mm. horrific. And I'm not trying to be that person and be like, oh, I know stuff. Like, I don't really know because I don't know. But just like things I've heard. I mean, I heard he's like actually like a horrible person. Just like. Yeah. But I don't know. I mean. <clears throat> well, so, so anyway, the reason we're doing a couple of things today. We're going to um, 
By the way, I have a lie detector because James Charles, <laughs> he took a lie detector test and they asked if he ripped off Teddy Fresh. Mm-hmm. He said no. And the guy was like, that's true. So mm-hmm. so he's so he's absolved. And I thought I would hook myself up to a lie detector. Like, for example, let's say, um, <clears throat> why don't you go ahead and ask me, A.B., if uh, James Charles ripped off Teddy Fresh? Did James Charles rip off Teddy Fresh? Yes. That is true. <laughs> See? Ah. So it's a conflict of the lie detector. Oh, you're saying it like depends on the person asking the question? <clears throat> yeah, but you know the guy. Who, well, let me show you this video. Guy, yeah. Let me show you this. Teddy Fresh. Oh, no. Here. Oh. This guy. He does everyone's. That's true. That's true. They're like, see? Ah! Everyone's like, oh, see? <laughs> but you know this guy. Wait, is he being serious or is he like trolling? Like, is James Charles trolling? No, he's period. being serious. He's like, I am absolved. But he literally said, oh, yeah, we, it is It is probably the same thing. Sorry. Like, he said it to you. So he already, like. He already admitted. Yeah. But he steals a lot of things. Like, you know, like the makeup look. I thought you were doing the white paint look because he stole it. So I was like, oh, he's oh, doing like he stole stolen it. look. So, yeah, someone like he. But he has like, a history of stealing things. So I'm like so confused as why people don't like call him out on it. I was like, wait, but he's. I guess because he has money, but you know what? People like that always like come down. Like he's gonna be like a Toby Turner or something like where they people you just don't care. So? Or Shay Carl, like one of those people where he's like flirting. With, like, well, I guess he's already flirted with people and got in trouble, but he'll like be brought down somehow because they're like not good people. Do you think? Mm, do you think? Oh, uh, mm. <laughs> well, do you want to? Do you want to ask me a like yes or no to, question? Okay. Um. Do you think I'm hot? No. That's true. Oh. <laughs> I'm hooked up. Fake. I'm hooked no, up. No, no. Ask this me something so else. Ask me something else. Um, oh my God, this By the so way, hard. this shit is scientific, bro. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with this lie detector. No, I'm not asking any more questions because it's so... It's like, ask me anything. Go ahead, ask me anything. Real. Let me see. How dare you? <laughs> this, is, this is top of the line shit. <laughs> Go ahead. Ask me one more question. Anything. Okay. Um... <clears throat> Do you, oh my God, I don't know what to ask. Come Do you want to have sex with me? <laughs> wow, really is just all about how much, you really, your mind is one place. <laughs> That's all I ask for. Uh, no. That is uh, true. Oh, uh, you could have This is me. such, yeah, that's such a lie. Like, we know that's a lie, like, whatever. No, I definitely don't want to fuck you, trust you me. You definitely do. Because you want to, like, I just feel like you either want to, like, be me or be in me, you know, like, one what? of the two. <laughs> I feel. Be, I don't want to be either of those I think things. one or the other. Do you think that everybody wants to be you or be in yeah, you? Yeah, for sure. Really? It's one or the other always. So Moses obviously wants to be in you. Mm-hmm, yeah, for sure, always. You cannot imagine a world where people don't want to be you or be in you. It's not. There's not a world that exists like that. Like, I swear on my life, like, everybody wants to, like, be me or be in me. Always. And you don't trust me when I say I have no desire to fuck you or be Yeah, you. I know you're lying. Mm. You look so pretty right now. It's <laughs> insane. So, here, you want to do this? Uh, are you smarter than a fifth grader? Yeah, for sure. But can I just say one more thing about the lie detector guy? I've been hooked up to him. Like, check out, like, me on his videos. Like, I've been hooked up to him. And he literally will say, like, oh, I can give you whatever answer you want. Are yeah. You f- Dude, I knew that yeah. guy was such a scammer. Obviously. He's in, like, everyone's videos. But he straight videos. up just says you can say whatever you want? <laughs> yeah. No, he says, oh, tell me what you want me to say. What? Yeah. Oh, That's for sure. That's so lame. Oh, when I got hooked up to it, he literally was like, oh, what do you, like, they're like, no, 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 say yes to that. Say no to that. Like, I'm like, okay. He's not, like, real. <laughs> That is disgusting, though. I mean, though, do that people they not show... know this? Because he's been in Shane's videos. He's well, been in Jason's is... videos. He's been in David's videos. He's, like, in everyone's, like, lie detector I videos. think people just assume that he, he's trustworthy or something. But the thing <laughs> is, like, lie detectors are, are a pseudoscience. They're not even allowed in, you know, uh, court. court. Yeah. It's a total pseudoscience. It just, it just measures your pulse and stuff. If you squeeze your butthole, you send all the measurements wild because it increases your blood pressure. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You just that. squeeze your, your butthole. You <laughs> looked up real? on that too, <laughs> Not huh? Not the butthole, but no, I, I did a, I've I, heard that. I had to do a lie detector test for a job I applied for in Israel for an interview. Mm. And it was so hey, it was flex. just so demeaning. No, it wasn't like I a love big, an Israeli flex. <clears throat> Trust me, it's not a flex. It was like thirty thousand dollars a year. It was a wow. shit job. But they go, "Have you ever used drugs?" Oh, I was like, "Fuck you." Next question. And what happened? Well, I was like, "You get the job?" No, I didn't, because apparently I failed on the drug question. Wait, what? Oh, because you said "fuck you." You have to say yes or no. No, I said no. Oh. And, and they like, said, "Oh, they said like, lie." Untruthful. I was like, "Dude, go fucking hide." What is this? The FBI? Well, you did do drugs. Dumbass job. So maybe it was right. You did do drugs. You have done drugs. You told me. Yeah, no, I know. I was so lying. Lied. Yeah. Oh, well, then that makes sense why they didn't hire No, but you. it's like, it's just such bullshit that. Mm. Um, yeah, I agree. I don't think it's. It's not like the CIA. I was like writing articles for some bullshit. 
Wait, in Israel? You don't yeah. even speak Hebrew. How yeah, do you get a job over English. there? Really? Mm -hmm. Who knew? I did. Wait, so now that you feel fat, are you like not going to have sex like all week? <laughs> no, that won't get in my way. I stop having sex when I feel fat. I haven't had sex in three days because I feel so fat. Really? I'm like, don't touch me, I'm fat. And you told... <laughs> it's just lately. Why have I been so Is fat it? lately? I well, don't know Well, you why. told me on the way here you stopped at McDonald's. <laughs> Couldn't stop eating yesterday. I just kept shoving my face. You know what it was? I got depressed about something. I can't remember. I got depressed, and then once that depression kicks in, I'm just like, "Fuck it!" Like I'm Fuck just gonna everything. be fat. I want to do that. Yeah. All the time. Do you do it? I had pizza this weekend. You do. You know, so you guys did a photo shoot. I'm kind of kind of over this whole topic of like, about you guys. Yeah, like we know we love Jews. Oh, but speaking of Jew, real quick, and I promise. No, but I won't you guys took Jews. a OnlyFans photo. Can I bring up something about a Jew real quick that I love? Sure, go ahead. Um, Rick Moranis. Like, why are no, more people not talking about? It? I used to love Rick Moranis so much, and he got hit. He got punched in the face in New oh, York City. Oh, why would that? Why? Who would want to assault him? He's like such a sweet, lovable dude. Yeah, pure as gold. I love. It was Rick just Moranis. a random act of violence. I guess, but did you see the video? It's literally broad daylight, Upper East Side. This guy just like. Like punches him in the face and nothing get, happens. He doesn't get arrested. Nothing. Did they find him? I heard yes. they found the guy who did it. Yeah, but he didn't get arrested. No, he How must he, have got no. arrested. No, I'm a hardcore Rick Moranis fan. If you watch my old videos, like I always talk about Rick Moranis. And yeah, he, everyone loves him. Here, here's the photos. Oh, we you want to talk about this? You, you see what we did? So we can show it. <laughs> she was butt ass naked, and then Ian photoshopped a dress on you so we could show it. What? Oh, you can't show the nudity. No, and then he did another uh, one of you as a nun. That's kind of cute, though. I like it. I honestly, I kind of like the photo. I'm not even going to hate. It's pretty. Did you see the original, the Pamela Anderson one I posted? Yes, I yeah. did. Yeah. Okay. So it was like, it was a, inspired by, um, yeah. The was, colors are nice. Hmm. It's got a Gucci photo shoot vibe. That's what everyone was saying. Thanks. Yeah. It, really yeah, it was cute. We have another one coming up because we're going to put these on a, some billboards. But you know, so. his, his parents are going to freak. Did your parents say anything or your, your family? I mean, I know, I know. <laughs> hey, you're preaching to the choir. <laughs> No, but here's the thing. I'm dressed. No, his mom's on our side now. She called him Saturday and was like, "Glad you're in a relationship, right?" I mean, that's what he told me. I don't speak yeah. Hebrew, but right, just don't, just don't show, bro. That's what I'm saying. I don't want to. This is like so. Right, I don't point. care about this. Let's okay, just do this. I was just like, let's do. Are you smarter than a fifth grader? Because this will be fun. Love this. Wait, are we not having a podcast? Is just like a fun Halloween episode or what? What are you? What is that we're doing a podcast? Are earrings. We are, but like, are we not talking about topics? Or we're just like this. I figured. As the person who actually does work and plans. Me. That we would do. Yeah, me. I'm the one that do planning. Oh, got it. I do planning too. No, you don't. My earring just broke. Okay. Let's do it. Let's start. Are you, and the reason that I wanted to play Are You Smarter Than Fifth Grade with you is because you have kind of a, sometimes a pretty funny explanation for things. Thank you. That's such a nice thing to say. I think it's a nice way of insulting you. I'll take it. Yeah. Honestly, I love you right now. You look so hot today. Well, I can't do any wrong. It's crazy how beautiful you are. That's why your baby I, looks so good. We were talking, actually, me and the McCarthy were talking, like, oh, his baby's, like, low-key cute. Low-key? What do you mean low-key? Well, you wouldn't think that, cute right? Fuck. No, because you're, like, quirky. You know what I mean? You're, like, a quirky-looking person. But without your facial beard, you look fucking gorge. Yeah, my baby's cute. Low-key. But you wouldn't expect... No, he's high-key, but you wouldn't expect it, like, low-key. I don't know. Anyways... Okay, whatever. Whatever. Definitely don't want to fuck you. <laughs> oh, that's what you keep Let's saying. Let's go. So anyway, I, I, you always have really funny answers to historical mm -hmm. stuff. Oh, historical? I'm good at this. Okay, great. I so let's, so, so go ahead and give us some categories. A, or who's reading them off? That'd be me. Dan? Okay, so give us some categories and Trisha will choose. I don't know the answers to any of these. These guys put them together. Oh. And we will both... Um, we will both compete. So what do we win? How about whoever wins, the other person has to sell them $1,000. So if I win today, I sell you 1000 <laughs> For real? Yeah, I totally will. Oh, I mean, you'll definitely lose. Oh my god, no! But will you actually sell me a thousand dollars? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But okay, I, I'm, so. I will win. I will. I mean, you have no chance. Are you kidding me? I'm way smarter than you, and I know this. Like people think I'm stupid, and I like that. Oh you know wow, what? I'm about to make a G, baby. Are you kidding me? Oh my god, yeah. You know, I spent a thousand on this fucking hair and makeup, so I'm about to recoup. Oh yeah, that's true. <laughs> it is it's bougie. Expensive. It is expensive, so but a write off because you only can use it for. Like, yeah, it's a write off, but you still like. <laughs> You're you know, bougie. I tell everyone how bougie you, you go, are, right. really. I'm not really bougie. Let's go <laughs> ask the questions. <laughs> I saw Ela's car. I was like, okay, Ela, like, so bougie. By the way, you guys can text me whenever. Moses told me that you guys, like, feel bad. Because I think you guys take what I say is, like, to heart. Like, if I'm like, don't I text feel me bad, as much. But I'm not going to text you past fucking six. Okay, but you can text me. You guys, like, we're silent. And then I'm like, okay, you can text me, like, something. I do the majority of my texting past six. 
I'm just busy during the day, and then I'm like, hey, what's going on? Forget right. about well, it. Well, Ela's better at texting, so I'll just text with her. I don't care about okay. texting. Let's play the game. <laughs> Go ahead, Dan. That right. dollar is at stake. Give us some categories. All right, that so I'll the categories that we have available are um, we have history, uh, English and literature, geography, <laughs> or science. Which, which one would you like? Am, am I picking for him, or are we doing both the same Why don't we switch off? You pick first, and then I'll pick. And we have to both do the same category. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll both answer the question, and then... He'll tell us the right answer. Okay, can you read the categories one more time? So sorry. Sure. It's history. Uh, so sorry. <laughs> English, geography, or science. Okay, we're going to go with English. English mm. it is. It's like Billy Madison at the end when like Bradley Whitford goes against Adam Sandler and then he loses and pulls a gun and like shoots up the crowd. You really think you're going to beat me? Yeah, a thousand percent. Like that's a, that's a given. Like, you and if you Israel. lose, will you admit that huh? like not everybody wants to fuck you? No. Okay. How can you not entertain the idea that there are dudes not attracted I've to you? I've never. Okay. Yes. Not attracted to me. Like, everybody would want to fuck me for sure. Well, why would I want to fuck someone I'm not attracted to? I mean, it happens all the time. A lot of people tell me I'm like, like afterwards, after I stop hooking up with someone, they're like, you're gross, you're chubby, whatever. I'm like, okay, but you fucked me. So like everyone wants to fuck. They all insult you afterwards. No, but like two people I was like, that's <laughs> fucked up. <laughs> it's really sad. It's actually really yeah, sad. Yeah, that I mean, is sad. twice, but it's fine. I mean, that's because I can guarantee you Dan doesn't want to fuck you. But you say this to your, and your yeah, you I say this like to too. your little posse because I don't think everyone you. wants to fuck you. Okay, well, that's cute. Like just because like you've been like married for twelve years, I feel like you low key wish that you could be single while you're famous and rich because I feel like you didn't get that out of your system, like knowing that every girl wants to fuck you because you're famous and rich. Um, I mean, the da dating and all that is really stressful. I hate that. But shit. don't you wish you could date now that you're known and have money? Like, you, don't you think you missed out a little bit? I mean, yes, you do. It's fine. It would be fun to date, but like, I'm not interested in that. I'm very happily married, but I'm saying, yeah, it would be mm -hmm. fun to see what it's like to yeah. date when you actually have something going for yeah. you. Because when I was dating, I was a fucking, I had, I was broke, fat. No, you're skinny when you met Eli. I saw that. Yeah, I was skinnier. Mm -hmm. But I'm saying, like. Yeah, it would be fun to date when you actually have something going for you. Yeah. But you would just meet a bunch of vapid fucking Well, yeah, I'm point, point is you're missing out on seeing that everybody wants to fuck you when you have like something going I'm not for you. I'm not going to satisfy anyone sexually. It's just going to be embarrassing. Anyway. Yeah, but you do you think like Adam Chandler does? No, it's because he's rich and famous. That is true. That is true. <laughs> Thank you. Wait, where did AD come from? How come I've never met him before? I've never AB, seen him. he's AD. new. Oh, he's new. Who did he replace? He didn't replace anyone. He's new. Okay, bougie hiring new employees all the Expanding time. Expanding the team. I know. Okay, love that. Um, Where's my check? Do I get a check today? Yeah, I owe you. I do. <laughs> I'm going to calculate for you today, tonight. All right, let's go ahead. Let's do the thing. All right, we okay. said English, right? Yeah, English. English. Okay, so uh, first grade question. Um, do wait, do we both answer this or are we going yeah, one Yeah, I guess how one? do you want to do this? You want to alternate questions? Because I, I got lots of questions. So. No, no, no. We'll both answer it and then you tell us the right answer. And but we'll what if we both point. know? That's fine. We both get a point. All right. So let's blow through Oh, it. you're saying because... <laughs> so what if you copy me? I'm a Hamilton. You're like, yeah, Okay, Hamilton. you're right. You're right. You go first. You pick your category. Okay, and AB, can you keep score? You keep score. Okay. I feel... Okay. All right, here we Dude, go. you're going to send me a thousand bucks. It's you're going to be send so me a thousand. epic. <laughs> All right, first question. I, uh, we'll start with Trisha. Okay. What is the plural of moose? Huh? Moose. That's correct. Thank you. Wow, look at this <laughs> fucking... Uh, how many letters are in the English alphabet, Ethan? Wait, I didn't choose English. No, you have to do the same category. You have to do oh. the same category. I think it's 23. That's incorrect. <laughs> it's 26. 26. 27? Holy fuck. It's 26. Okay. Sweating. 26 or 27? In the story. Doesn't matter. I got it wrong. <laughs> Move on. <laughs> uh, what is the term for a word that is uh, similar in meaning to another word? Wait, say that one more time. Sorry. What is the word? Oh. What is the term for a word that is similar in meaning to another word? Synonym. Correct. <sighs> what type of words should be capitalized? Ethan. What words should be capitalized? Yeah. What type of words? Oh, pronouns. Uh, Incorrect. Proper, Proper nouns. nouns. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay, so, so far, Trisha has not a good. lead. We're moving on to the second grade here. Okay. Uh, Yo, those first graders are fucking <laughs> stacked. <laughs> okay, second grade. Mm -hmm. um, Trisha, what type of literature features magical creatures such as giants, gnomes, and goblins? Mythology. Wait, if she gets it wrong, do I get a stab at it? No. I like that. Yes. Because I just answered yes. yours right. I got proper nouns. I got 26. Okay, I got... you're right. You're right. All right. That was a correct answer, though. So good job. Um, Wait, what? <laughs> yeah. Mythology? How is that right? Mythology. Mythological? 
What do you mean? How is that right? <laughs> Shouldn't it be like fantasy? No. That would have been an acceptable answer as well. But it's mythology, mythology. Is, is... Well, mythology is like the There's... study of like <laughs> okay. Greek gods. That's Greek shit. mythology. That's a different class. Okay, whatever. <laughs> Next. <laughs> Fucking bullshit. Collusion. Okay, Ethan, what is the term for a word that has the opposite meaning of another word? <sighs> I know it. It's like... Antonym. Mm. That's correct. Mm. Thank God. Trisha, what is the... Uh, sure. <laughs> what are the... What's the uh, score? One, three. Okay. <laughs> Go ahead. What are the five uh, interrogative question words? There's five of them. Oh, who, what, where, when, why. Got it. Uh, <laughs> what are comparative and superlative forms of the word big? Ethan. Bro, this is some bullshit. <laughs> this is first grade. I don't even know what the this fuck you said. This is second grade. This is second grade. Say, it, repeat the question. What are comparative and superlative forms of the word big? I don't even know what the fuck those words you said mean, bro. Okay. Well, the answer is bigger, bigger and biggest. biggest. Psst, fuck this. <laughs> go ahead, Dan. What? I mean, where'd you go to school? All right, we're going to third. I'm not good at this shit. We're going to third grade. I'm going to destroy you, though. <laughs> okay. third Why are we grade. doing English first? Because she I'm going to go I'm going to make it. I'm, go ahead. I'm down for you anything. Gotta, okay. <laughs> okay, the third grade. Uh, the person in a novel who tells the story from a third person perspective is called what, Trisha? The narrator. That's correct. Trisha <laughs> has a perfect score so far. <laughs> Thank you, AB. False. <laughs> Uh, uh, Ethan, what is the name of the book about a friendship between a pig named Wilbur and a spider named Charlotte? That's uh, <sighs> Charlotte's Web. That's, That's not right. Fair. That's you right. Have to Shut up. <laughs> you gave him the Easter Peter. Next. <laughs> Trisha, who is the author of James and the Giant Peach? Royal Doll. Uh, no, Ronald no exceptions. Doll. What did you say? Ronald Doll. Ronald Dahl is incorrect. Uh, Royal Dahl. It's not Ronald. It's, uh, you I, have McDonald's on Royal your mind. Doll. <laughs> it's Rolled Dahl. Is that Wrong. what you're saying? No, Rolled no. Dahl. That's what I literally said. You okay. said Ronald. Royal Dahl. No, no, no. I wasn't sure what you said. She's wrong. She's wrong. I said it the first time. I think she said it right. Dahl. Okay, whatever. I'm going to destroy you in other categories. <laughs> Move on. He also wrote Charlie and the Chocolate Bro, Factory. Bro, you I know literally Royal said Dahl. Ronald Dahl. Playback. Play back the clip in editing because I literally said Roll Doll and he's like, no, I'm like, oh, Ronald Doll? <laughs> but like that didn't sound right. I knew it was Royal Doll. We'll do an instant replay in editing. Royal Doll. Royal Doll. You said uh, James and the Giant Peach, right? Go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, go the, ahead, Dan. Uh, and go finally, the main series of events in a story is called what, Ethan? The main series of events? Mm -hmm. You know what? I think. I like don't know. the climax? Okay. No. So what is that's what you're gonna say? I would have guessed like, yeah, the climax of the finale. It's the plot. Oh plot. That that's such a that's such an arbitrary question. <laughs> the plot. Did you get one right? Wait that yeah, I did. Okay, one. The that's so stupid. That's just a dumb fucking question. Oh, look who's getting so mad. Oh my but god. But that's so the arbitrary shit. Wow. The plot. I've never seen you get like actually All right, mad. Do, no, I choose next. Go history. I'm not mad. I'm just we we still had the fourth and the fifth grade. Okay, to get fourth, through. fifth grade. Go ahead. <laughs> All right. Fourth grade. Mm -hmm. Um uh, Trisha, what is, <laughs> what is the main character of a story called? Oh, uh, protagonist. That's right. Um, <laughs> seven for seven. <laughs> what uh, what type of word is truthfully, Ethan? Um. May I just say Ethan's questions are fucked. <laughs> I'm just alternating. I'm not. I'm not. I mean, I did get his question. I think uh, truthfully is like it's not a. It's like I don't know. It's not an adjective or a verb. I don't know. Fuck you, Dan. <laughs> <laughs> fuck you, Dan. <laughs> yeah. Fuck you, Dan. It's an adverb. Yeah. You're uh, close. Adjective, verb, adverb. <laughs> this is the one thing I'm really bad at. <laughs> In the in the book titled "The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe," what is the last? Oh, what what is the last comma called? That's a weird question. Last, you, oh, okay, you have to see it to like really understand what that question is. Let's skip that. Okay. No, let's not skip it. Okay, give her a bullshit okay. question. Okay, Dan. in the t in the title, "The Lion, comma the Witch, uh -huh. comma and yeah, the Wardrobe, exactly. comma," uh -huh. what is the last comma called? Oh, hmm. see, it's not that hard to explain. 
Fair enough. Conjunction? No, it's called an Oxford comma. Oh. Duh. Did you know? I wouldn't. <laughs> no, that's stupid. My first stupid. one I got wrong, so sorry. Oxford, it's stupid. You got one right. No, I didn't know the answer Ethan, to that. Ethan, what do you call a group of crows? <laughs> How is that literature? I'm not really, I'm just... <laughs> a group of crows? That's not, common, that's not common <laughs> knowledge. Do you want to, uh, it's called a crew, obviously. <laughs> no, it's a murder. A murder of crows. Oh, a murder? Yeah, and I also, don't know. give hints. That's it's not fine. fair. I wasn't going to pull it. Okay. There's money on the line. There's yeah, literally. Line. Don't give hints. <laughs> All right, last grade. Fifth grade. Here we go. This, okay. is, the, this is the big time here. <laughs> um, Trisha. Yes. Who is the creator of the classic book characters Tom Sawyer and Huckleberry Finn? <sighs> oh, shoot. Wow, you really don't know? Wow. <laughs> Wait, I know this. I do know this, and that's so annoying. Oh, my gosh. I don't know. She gives up. Who Move on. It? Tell me. It's Mark Twain. Mark Twain. Oh, I thought it was a fictional character. I literally All right, thought go ahead. Like, go All right, who is uh, Ethan? Who is the author of the 1960 novel about social and racial inequality to kill a mockingbird? Who's the author? Yes. Who's the author of To Kill a Mockingbird? Some fucking asshole. <laughs> Harper Lee is the answer. It wasn't his one. real name, though. You know, that was a pen name. Um. <laughs> I love I love that movie. I okay. Love- Nat, can we do a new category, please? Uh, we have uh, two more questions. Here we go. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Trisha, what is the name of the most famous English playwright? English? Yeah. Do you know? Oh. Oh. Is it William Shakespeare? It sure is. Okay. Dude, this is so dumb. <laughs> Go ahead. Oh, what's what's a bunch of crows? Dan, this is so stupid. Are you trying to cost me a thousand bucks? You're such an asshole. Go ahead. <laughs> Go ahead. What's right, my question? Last, last question. Mm-hmm. Last question. Often seen at the end of a sentence, the three trailing dots that indicate the omission of speech or writing of a word or words that are superfluous and are able to be understood from contextual clues are known as dot, dot, dot. A fucking couple dots, dude. <laughs> Fuck. It's called an ellipse. An ellipse. An ellipse. Or ellipses. <laughs> rather. Ellipse. Ellipses. Right. I knew that. All right. So that is that is English. Uh, what, 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 right. what, what's the score, AB? The score is currently two for Ethan, eight for Trisha. Oh, Woo. my God. Oh, my God. I'm like. It's a blowout. Yeah. It doesn't even. All right. So let's move on. Let's Ethan, it's history. your turn for a, a category. Okay. History. history? Okay. Yeah. Here so we Ethan go. Ethan starts or I start? Ethan I starts because he picked it. Sure. I'm starting. <laughs> okay. Mm-hmm. Fair enough. Wow, you're confident. Uh, all right, history. Um, Ethan, the first Thanksgiving was celebrated by Native Americans and what other group of people? Oh. Native Americans. No. Well, pilgrims, sorry. <laughs> yeah, pilgrims. Well, Native oh Americans. We'll show. give you that one. That's so easy. That's so dumb. Okay, it's well, first, first grade. grade. Calm this down. First grade. Uh, Trisha, what country did Mexico gain its independence from in the 19th century? What country? Mm-hmm. In Mexico, gained its independence in the 19th century. Um, you wish you knew. The United States. <laughs> <laughs> it's Spain. Let's go. What? Let's go. History. Hey, yeah. History. No, I got <laughs> Next it. question. I'm ready. I'm prepared. All right. Uh, Ethan, who invented the light bulb in 1879? Thomas Edison. That is That's correct. This is, this is bullshit. I think, oh my God, this is bullshit. <laughs> Revenge of Ethan. Let's oh go. Oh my God. Uh, Trisha. Um, which language is most widely spoken in South America? You wish you knew the answer. Stop. Spanish. That's correct. Okay. You got it. <laughs> Bullshit. All right, second it. grade. Second Dumb grade. Ass. Second graders. <laughs> they don't know shit. Stupid. <laughs> All right. Uh, Ethan, what are the three branches of the United States federal government? Judicial, executive, legislation. Legislative. Yes. Next. Correct. Okay, nerd. <laughs> nerd. <laughs> Fucking nerd over here. Oh my god, I know this one. Uh, which war was fought Did between? Did you not know that? No, I knew it, but no, I you, you look like a you nerd because you it. looked so into it. I yeah, know because it. you are gonna you fucking so lose. Into it. Oh, like what's an ellipse? <laughs> What's a murder of crows? <laughs> That's such a stupid question. Those are easy, go ahead. Go okay, ahead. All right. Did you know murder? I didn't know murder actually. 
you would free. <laughs> no, that's a thing you learn. That's like a basic thing everyone knows. Really? Yeah. Why do people think about crows so much? There's like other things to life. I mean, it's in a lot of like literature. Like crows are very symbolic. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Talk about nerd. <laughs> All right. Ask her a question. She's going to get it wrong. <laughs> All right. Trisha, in what war was fought between the North and Southern regions of the United States? <laughs> the Civil War. Dude, that is a dumb, <laughs> dumb question. Well, it is for a second grader. <laughs> Um, Four is five. Ethan, ten. Trisha. Okay. All right, step it up. Creeping up. <laughs> Ethan, what? Uh, what was the alliance between Italy, Japan, and Germany during World War II called? So it was called the Axis Powers. That's correct. Wow. Uh, Maybe that's the Holocaust. <laughs> The fuck? <laughs> I low key got really sad about the Holocaust this weekend. Moses explained to me what actually happened, and I like started crying. You just found out about the Holocaust. I had no idea. That they like tricked them into going into showers and like killed millions of them that way. Have you seen Schindler's List? No. You should watch that. I feel like I got I got really sad when he said that because we were watching the producers and they had like springtime for Hitler and I was like oh that's cute and then he was like telling me I'm like well what did Hitler do that was so bad. Oh my god. And then he told me. I have to beat you. I have to beat you. (laughs) I I can't lose to you. (laughs) It made me cry. I'm showing I'm I'm empathetic. Like I'm not like making a joke. Like I was like no. I just think I just thought I just think you're. I can't lose. (laughs) Everything is tied up in this. Just go ahead. You didn't. Know, you just literally asked me what did Hitler do that was so bad. I didn't know really, but it's good to know and be educated. So. All right. Well, uh, on the topic of World War II, <laughs> oh, Trisha, no. the final second grade question: What city was the first to be attacked by an atomic bomb? Good luck, dummy. In the U.S. Yeah, in the U.S. No, just why are you you're not giving? Why are you giving her hits? Yeah, anywhere. Oh, oh, oh! Wait. It was in the U.S. It was in the U.S. Uh huh. Are you being stupid? No. Okay, everyone take that. There was a bomb dropped in the U.S. A nuclear bomb was dropped on the United States during World War II. (laughs) Yeah, this is like V-Day or something, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. I want to say this was in Maui. Right. Yeah, Pearl Harbor. Yeah, they nuked Pearl Harbor. (laughs) No, I'm sorry. The correct answer is Hiroshima in Japan. Uh, we never heard that. Hiroshima. I've never heard that oh, city in my life. All right, Japan let's go. Was in World War Two too. So we had Oh the my God! How I can't lose. Go, go, go. <laughs> well, I didn't know this. I can't now. lose this. All the right. Germans and the Japanese. They were teamed up. America being so strong and winning that war against everybody. We did love it. that. Yeah. yeah we, well, you know, America was really. They fought the Japanese. Really, that's amazing. <laughs> Found it. Dude. Wow. Yeah, we kind of killed it. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> All right. Um, <laughs> third grade. Uh, I guess, yeah, we're back on Ethan. Um, <laughs> what type of feather, beginning with the letter Q, did people write with during the middle? Quill. Ages? Next. Ooh. Okay. Uh, Harry Potter. <laughs> Harry Potter. <laughs> Trisha, Julius Caesar was the emperor of Went Empire. Good luck. You don't know anything. I know Julius Caesar. Um, Honolulu. Rome. <laughs> That's correct. Rome. Uh, Et tu, Brute. <laughs> wow. I know. I'm uh, just really Ethan, <laughs> what is Rosa Parks most famous for? Uh, she was a civil rights uh, activist who refused to sit in the back of the bus. We will uh, overcome. That is correct. Ironic because the cool kids sat in the back of the bus when I went to school. Isn't that funny? It is funny. Yeah. That is a really good observation about race. <laughs> I'm just saying. Like, What's the just... score? Anyway. The score is eight, Ethan, ten, Trisha. Ooh, we're closing. Ooh, we're closing. Ooh, we're closing. Ooh, we're closing. Ooh, we have to count that. Oh, thank you, babe. Wait, what? You're keeping score too? <laughs> what a freak! Wait, hey. AB, why you have oh the wrong God. score? Yeah, why did you? Have... Wait, what? What do you have, Moses? No, she got Rome. So I'm at eleven. Did you not give her a point for Rome? Oh, I didn't hear her say. <gasps> yep. I've Thanks, heard. Mose. Oh wow. my God. This is wow. wow, Moses is fucking. Check, fact checking Thanks, your ass, babe. Okay, you're literally the right fact there. checker over there with the lie detector, dude. What's going on? <laughs> All right, yeah, these fact, these lie detectors are bullshit. All right, go ahead, Dan. I'm coming. You're not gonna win. I was like, you can't right. catch me that quickly. Okay. Trisha, Trisha, it's only uh, three points. This mm-hmm. is the final third grade question. Um, for me or him? For you. Oh, All right. The first fireworks were invented in the seventh century in what country? <sighs> you wish you knew. What is with that? First a fireworks? Mm-hmm. Correct. You'll never go. Hiroshima. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh. Hiroshima is not a country. Oh. <laughs> Where? Uh, it was invented in China. I knew that China. answer. China invented. Next. Give me a question. Right, oh, my God. Coming for you. So competitive. 
Yeah, I got a thousand bucks on the line. I can't oh, lose. Yeah. I can't lose to Trisha Paytas. <laughs> she doesn't know what anything I mean. about World War II. Just because I don't know what a murder of crows is. Next, Dan. Let's go. That, that I gotta be surprised. That English one fucked me good. Mm-hmm. I'm surprised how ignorant I am. Because you're creative and you do well, like. I, I majored in English lit, <laughs> but I never learned. But what? like, I always had like a, a blind spot about all these weird, like basic elementary school shit. Really? That's so weird. I never learned like advert. Like, I never know. I was like, what the fuck's an advert? Did you go Parts to school? Like grade school? No, I never went to school. Oh, they homeschooled you? Anti vax? No, I'm kidding. I went to school. Oh. I just thought it was this... a weird question. Oh. <laughs> well, people homeschool now. Yeah, no, I went to school. Oh, okay. I just, I don't know what happened. I just missed like the whole like third grade or something. It's been as a bunch of dummies up there. I look fucking good. You're right. You do look so good. I'm like gel because I look so gross next to you now. That was That's kind true. of the hot one. <laughs> All right. Let's move on to fourth grade. Uh, Ethan, what ancient civilization built Machu Picchu complex in Peru? That was, would be the Aztec. Oh. That would be the <laughs> fucking dumb assholes. <laughs> the Incas was the oh, correct the answer. Mm-hmm. The mm-hmm. Machu Picchu. Uh, Trisha, yes. what ancient Egyptian writing system? What was the ancient Egyptian writing system called? We love Egypt. Um, <sighs> Who's we? Me and Moses. We watch Prince of Egypt. That's you like guys our, love Egypt. That's like the theme of our bedroom, right? Yeah. What? Um, you have a bedroom theme? Yeah, it's like Prince of Egypt theme. You guys role play the Pharaoh. Yeah, but not the Holocaust because <laughs> I, I said I it. I don't know. I wouldn't think that you did that. <laughs> like going in the shower. like But that, that was like. so inappropriate. No, 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 no. Oh, my God. That's not that's not what I'm saying. So who I'm... would be going in the shower? You or Moses? Moses said he made this joke himself that he'd be the first to die in the Holocaust because he loves showers. Like he showers three times a day. He's like, I'd be so excited to like go. Anyways, that was his joke, not mine. Don't come for me. Um, that'd you be hieroglyphics. Have... Hieroglyphics is the correct answer. We Very love good. Egypt. We uh... love Egypt. Why do you love Egypt so much? I just found out it was real on your show on H3. That's what I'm <laughs> that's why I'm so upset that I can't lose. That you didn't you thought Egypt was a I mythological place. I thought it was fake. Like Cleopatra, I thought it was fake. Like I thought everything was fake and this is a whole new world to me. Shout out Egypt. How are you real? I like Egypt now, like yeah. Okay, go ahead. Ask me. <laughs> All right. Uh, next up. <laughs> Ethan, from whom did the United States buy the territory in the Louisiana France, purchase? Next. Oh, that's okay. Correct. I knew that too, Sacagawea. I was on it. You were on the. Uh, that what is it? not related. <laughs> yeah, unrelated. <laughs> Go ahead. Um, who wrote the national anthem of the United States of America, Trisha? Hmm. Uh, mm, mm, mm. Oh, I know this. It's like from Hamilton, right? Wave the Betsy Ross's flag higher, Betsy Ross. Wrong. That is incorrect. She made the who? flag. Oh, what the fuck? What was the what something was... keys? Francis Scott Key. Oh. Oh, oh, got Wrote it. The, Good thing it wasn't my question. That was not in Hamilton, by the way. Right. I was like, what? oh, shit. Is she really going to pull a Hamilton lyric <laughs> out and so figure excited. this? I'm like, I know this. That would have been shit. crazy. All right, go ahead. All right, fifth grade. Last uh, last grade <sighs> my hands are this section. Uh, you getting Ethan. nervous? Uh, yeah, kind of, because like, I really hate losing. He knows. Are your hand in blackface today? No, I try to scrape it off for today's episode. That's good. Oh, my God, you can't say that. We'll get canceled. Your, hand, your hands are in black hand. They were. Black hand? I don't know. I'm okay. Just to make I never fun. lose. Yesterday on family game night, did we lose once? No, I lost one every single time. Go ahead, Dan. You're going to lose. All right. Fifth grade. You sell me a thousand. <laughs> Ethan, a thousand. Who, uh, what was the name of the last queen of France? Mm-hmm. The last queen of France? Correct. Oh, hmm. Mm-hmm. Probably, that, uh, probably that dummy who got her head dink donked off. <laughs> uh, Marie Antoinette. That's correct. Okay. Movies. Score? 10, 12. 10, 12. Okay, but Let's is that go. Right? That's right. But I'm, I went, you went first, so I have. Go one. ahead. Okay. All right. Uh, <sighs> uh, Trisha, the region known as the Fertile Crescent is located in present day. What? The Fertile Crescent? Right. <laughs> what? It's such a hard question. Is it? I don't know how anybody Do can you know it? That. The only reason I know is because, like, I read some really obscure thing. It's super obscure. Oh, uh, cool. I would say, oh, what's that state wave in the middle? Is that Nebraska? Uh, probably. I don't want. <laughs> Do you know? That. Do you know? Say it. It is. Ne- is mean, it? I mean, I don't want to say it. The answer is not Nebraska. Oh. It is the Middle East. I'm sorry. Oh. Wait, what? Yeah, what? Oh, good. I thought okay. it was California. <laughs> really? Yeah, I did. Shit. And I have a Middle Eastern boyfriend. I should know that. Shit. 
Sorry, babe. Go ahead, Dan. <laughs> um, Fuck. Let's see. Uh, Ethan, um, the French and Indian War, which began in 1754, as we all know, <laughs> became the North American theater of this worldwide <laughs> war that lasted from 1756 to 1763. Dude, where's the question? <laughs> What is, what is the name of that? What is the name of that worldwide war of which the French and Indian War was one aspect? Oh, of? what was the name of the worldwide war? Yes, that the French and and what was the year? In seventeen fifty four. Oh, um, French Indian War was probably part seventeen fifty four. You said it started. What was the? That's year? when it started, and then the war that it was a part of, the wider war. Uh, that came about was from 1756 to 1763. Wow. I think it was the French Revolution. I'm sorry, that's incorrect. It was the Seven Years' War. There was oh, a little, fuck you. There was a little <laughs> hint in there. The Seven Years' <laughs> the War. Seven Years' War. <laughs> Love that. Douche. And uh, finally, yes. Trisha. Yes. Uh, the modern day city of Istanbul <laughs> was known by what name in the 13th century? the old name for Istanbul. Like, who even knows Istanbul? Like, I don't even know that. I don't even know where it is. Like, Tel Aviv. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's Constantinople. Shit. All what? Right. So Constantinople? What is that? Constantinople, yeah. <laughs> what so, was it? So that is the end of uh, the history section. What do we what have for the have? score? It's two or two. I have 10, 12. 10, 12. Wait, we, how many are we doing? How many categories? We're doing all the categories? Yeah, is this a you real bet your ass. This is an hour long. Let's go. What, what categories are left? Uh, there is geography or science. Let's do your, well, it's your choice. It's Trisha's choice. <laughs> That's not fair because geography, science, and history are all like those same. There's no creative Literally category. Literally three totally. You. I guess we'll go with science because Those are geography. the four core disciplines of, uh, of grade school. Whereas, like, musical theater. I don't think that's a core discipline. <laughs> it was in... What is the lyrics to Hamilton? <laughs> I don't think they teach that in school. That's so... Oh, that's a lyric to Hamilton. I doubt they covered this in boarding school. <laughs> wow. Anyways, okay. <laughs> what anyway. song is that from? When uh, Philip is singing, like, he's about to get, like, shot. He's like, um... I was gonna... Uh, wow, I, okay. I, I, sorry, I know what you're... I'm, like, pressured. <laughs> Oh, you Go should ahead, have heard Dad. the shit All he right. said about you. Dun, 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 dun. I was not about to. They don't cover this in boarding school. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> That's a banger right there. That's that a real banger. That Two theme. points. Are you nervous to lose? Yeah, like this sucks. I hate losing. I don't even care. I'll give you $10,000. I don't care. I just I hate losing. You want to give me 10 No, it's okay. <laughs> I was like, oh, all right. <laughs> Go ahead, Dan. <sighs> all right. Uh, so Trisha picked the category, so she'll lose. go first, right? Are so, we doing all the categories? Like we were doing geography too? Yes. Oh. I guess so. Yes. It favors me the longer we go. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't know geography. That's so stupid. Like, I, I, we, should, we should be able to pick the categories. There is a musical you did. theater category. You just category picked the category. Who wants to be smarter than a fifth grader? There's a musical theater category. There's literally not. Yeah, there literally is. Why would there be a musical theater category? Like music, anything. There should be something else creative. It shouldn't just be like one English and that's it. It should be like creative writing, like something. Creative writing. This is stupid. Science, geography, and history, they're all Those the same the thing. Those are the main... Oh, well, let's find out, Dan. Go ahead. I'm I don't understand this. your I'm argument. I'm so over this. Go, because you know you're going to lose. Trisha. Yes. We can what, stop when I take the lead. What causes the tides? Oh, you better know that. <laughs> what causes the Girl, tides? you yeah. better know that. <laughs> the tides are caused by, oh, platonic plates. <laughs> Love it. See, this is why I wanted to play this show. <laughs> this is why I wanted to platonic do this. Platonic plates. <laughs> Have you heard of the moon? That is the you correct answer. The answer is the moon. The moon has the gravity moon causes and pulls the, the ocean. You're just a fucking nerd, and that's why you want to play this. Look how smart I am. I may not be as cute like Trisha. Not everyone wants to fuck me like Trisha, but I can like know the moon and well, let's tides. see. Let's see Rip how well tides. Ethan does in this category. Before <laughs> Go ahead. Say that. He's so nerdy. Look My at God. Him. Like, Go ahead. Studies. That's what he. You're does. actually getting mad. You were being like, "Oh, look how competitive <laughs> Ethan is," and now you're like, "Look at Ethan. He's a fucking nerd, and everyone <laughs> wants to fuck me." Nerd. Call me and fat. I dare you. No, because I'm just fat. fat. I can't yeah, say that. Yeah, you want to call me fat, don't you? <laughs> no. Go ahead, Dan. Everyone in the comments said I was fatter than you, which is probably true now. I'm like pushing too, like, I feel like I'm So old. what, are we in competition to see who's the fattest? Can we get a sponsorship for a weight loss? That'd be fucking great. <laughs> you can lose the most weight. I still would lose. Because I have such a problem that even if you paid me to lose weight, I can't. I have like such a problem with I've food. been trying to lose weight for like three weeks and I haven't lost a single pound. Yeah, we should do something like 
uh, Anna Nicole, like, Trim Spot Baby, you know, like one of those commercials we get. No scalpers. lipo. No secret lipo. Okay. Um, well, obviously. You were thinking about it. Go ask me a question. <sighs> Ethan, the, uh, the south pole of the magnet and the north pole of another magnet will do what? The fuck you say? <laughs> the south pole of a magnet and the north pole of another magnet will do what? Stick together. That's correct. This Thank is you. so stupid. That Trisha, what is the so force? <laughs> Trisha, what is the force that causes objects to fall to the ground? Girl, you better. I know this because my titties are low thanks to gravity. Yay! <laughs> A personal really, anecdote. Can we just also say we don't actually need gravity? But that's a different thing. What like, do you mean by I that? I saw someone do this. Was this a TikTok? We were watching something where someone's like, we don't actually need gravity. We were watching this to me. Like, we actually don't need it. What do you mean that we don't need gravity? What if it was never invented? Invented by who? Sir Isaac Newton. Isaac Newton created gravity? <laughs> Whoever created gravity. Someone did. But we don't actually need it. There, like, was, we a time just on, all... there was a time on Earth before gravity existed? Yes. Oh. Who, who created gravity, babe? Dan. It was Isaac well, Newton. You're you, right. <laughs> you were I'm in the it. right ballpark. Sir Isaac Newton perhaps uh, first defined and discovered Maybe. gravity. He what do you mean we don't need gravity? gravity? I'm curious about that We statement. just don't need it. But like, what do you mean? <laughs> the moon doesn't have gravity. It does. All bodies, all celestial bodies. I mean, all bodies. All you mass. have gravity. Uh, anything with in mass fact, has gravity. So, in fact, some would say you have a sizable amount of gravity. What's that mean? <laughs> I'm fat? You're calling me fat yeah. now. Attractive. Yeah, oh. attractive. Thank you, Moses. <laughs> well, you're fat. You're fat, fat, fatty. Doesn't bother me. Keep eating fatty. Oh, my God. Go wait, read a book wait. and eat chocolate fatty. Wait no till I take the lead. No one wants to fuck you, But fatty. what do you mean that, that we don't need gravity? I don't understand that statement. What do you mean by it? Like that we could exist without gravity? Yes. You know, we would just be floating around. Nothing that's would be anchored why, to the earth. Yeah, but if that's all we know, nobody would know any different. How are you going to exist on this earth without gravity? You'd be thrown into outer space. There'd be no atmosphere. There'd be no oceans. Literally don't know what you're talking about. Like, oh, I'm okay. literally checked out of this conversation. Okay, let's keep I'm going. I'm so let's, confused. What's the score? Let's what's, move on. What's the score? So, well, let me explain. Gravity is like a natural force. Nobody cares about this. Like everyone's gonna. Do you turn want me to explain what point. gravity is? To Nobody you? wants you to explain this. I don't so care boring. about them. I'm trying to. I want. It seems like you no want to know what gravity is. I have no interest in gravity. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Wait, you should know what gravity is, Trisha. Why? I just feel like it's important to understand the world you live in. That you have to know what gravity. Okay, is. Okay, well, you should know Sutton Foster, and you don't know her. So what? You're right. Musical theater icon legend, starring in the Music Man with okay, Jackman so, but, at the Winter Garden Theater next March. Can I just explain what gravity is to you, real fast? No, and she I won more like Tony important. Awards. So how about learn your shit, and then you can teach me. Mine. I feel like gravity has more relevance in our daily life oh, than Tony Awards. Literally all body, all, all body. Gravity is award show. Like nobody, like nobody cares. No one's giving I out awards for gravity. I can't believe this conversation about gravity. I can't believe you're such a nerd that you care this much about gravity. Nobody cares. I don't care. Audience doesn't care. Nobody in this room cares. Wow. I'm over this. Okay, let's just let's go ahead. Oh I, my god. Let's burn. We, we're almost there. Yeah, almost okay, up. the hour's almost up. Thank God. <laughs> Thank God. Oh my god, this is. I knew you were gonna get. You're getting so mad about gravity. Because one, I didn't know the categories. Otherwise, like I wouldn't have even participated in this episode. You would have. Okay, go next, 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 next. Before right. she leaves, a caterpillar <laughs> changes and grows into what, Ethan? Oh my god. Say again. Oh, butterfly. Next, I win. <laughs> so hard. All right, next question. So uh, we're question. going on to second grade here. Wow. Uh, what is H two O also known as? Oh my god, Trisha. water. Oh my god, <laughs> the I don't fuck? even. Yeah. What? Okay, so wait, are we tied? No, Ethan twelve, Trisha fourteen. You're still in the lead, Trisha. Wait, you I got be one. No, that's yeah. Bill. You're fucking up the score, <laughs> Moses, Could you ch fact check me? Yeah, man. You guys do I think I'm only behind by one because I got you one. You were right. behind by one, but the one she just got. Okay, go ahead. Two. Go ahead. Right. Oh that my makes sense. god. What gas is in the air that we breathe? Oxygen. Great. Wow. And what gas do plants breathe in that humans and Are animals... Are you asking me? I'm, no, I'm asking you, Trisha. <laughs> oh. What gas do plants breathe in that humans and animals breathe out? I'll say that one more time. What gas do plants breathe in that humans and animals breathe out? Humans breathe in and animals breathe out? No. no. Opposite. <laughs> no. Humans and animals both breathe this gas out. Plants breathe it in. Carbon monoxide. Ooh, you're, it's carbon dioxide, not monoxide. Oh, 
this is some bullshit. It's CO two. It's not bullshit. Yeah, Next, yeah, let's yeah, keep it going. Rapid speed. It's not Jesus. bullshit. <laughs> Gravity exists, and we need it. Uh, it, what uh, what galaxy is the Earth located in, Ethan? Oh my god, Milky Way. Uh, okay. So hard. You win no Milky Way. <laughs> <laughs> you call me fat first. You start with, oh, you have a lot of gravity, so. You don't even know what gravity is. How do you know if you have a lot of it? I know, but I, the insinuation. <laughs> okay, so what is the clues. score? Go ahead. Ethan 13, Trisha 14. Go, go, go. All right. <laughs> Stupid. Hey. Uh, hey. Oh, I'm <laughs> muted. Sorry. Um, this one's a, a throwback to a previous one. Uh, what phenomenon might be felt on the surface when two tectonic plates <laughs> rub against each other, Trisha? An earthquake. That's right. Wow, so hard. Uh, the hardest naturally occurring mineral is, Ethan? Diamond. That's correct. Mm -hmm. What is the closest planet to the sun, Trisha? Who cares about space and gravity? <laughs> Literally, who does, though? Who like... cares? It's, we don't need gravity. Mars. I'm sorry, it is mercury. That's some bullshit. It's the not, process, everybody knows that. The process by which plants eat and make energy is called... Oh photosynthesis. That's correct. Stupid. Are we tied? Game. Tie game. It's tie game. But Get excited, first. Trisha. Get so excited. excited. All right, fourth grade. Here What's we go. Gravity? Trisha, what is the part of the eye that controls how much light enters? The cornea. No. You're corn it's you the are a cornea. Can you just shut up? <laughs> Jesus. It's the pupil. I'm sorry. You're so annoying. Everyone, <laughs> this is so stupid. Nobody even cares. This episode's going to Dude, take. I don't care sure about them. Tank. Go. Um, nobody watches it. Go, 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 it. go, go, go. What planet is nicknamed the red planet? Oh Mars. <laughs> Give him the easiest Please. shit. Like, everyone knows Mercury's these. obviously the closest. Mm, okay. All right. Uh, what animal, uh, or I'm sorry, Trisha, animals that eat only meat are known as only meat. Carnivores. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. How long does the Earth take to revolve around the sun? <laughs> oh my God. Three sixty-five days. So one year. Stupid. That's correct. This is so dumb. You're giving. You know, it's three sixty-five. Yeah. You're fucking dumb as shit. This is so dumb. I'm this winning. So dumb. Or am I in the lead? By one point. But but, but you, you can tie. First. Yeah, you can tie. So right stop now. asking after your turn. Uh, Trisha. Uh, <laughs> the Earth is at least how many billions of years old? Oh, good question. Well, let's see. God made it, and according to the Stop. Bible. Jesus but... <gasps> Christ, that dog scared me. Oh, my God, sorry. But if we, go, if we count um, the old scriptures and go back 1,000, oh, I think oh. they say about 6,000. <laughs> I found out the Jewish year is like 56, 51 or something like that. Um, how many billions? Yes. We are. <laughs> the earth. How many billions of years old is the earth? Two. It's four. Mm, cool. I thought it was six. Mm, well, you're an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it says at least how many billion years. I, I just want to like lose so I can flex that I can pay him a thousand because I know he would never do it. He'd do an installment. What? I, I would pay you. <laughs> I would do an installment. Yeah. Instead of that payment plan. I would do like after pay you. Yeah. Like, hey, can I, get, can I hit you with a little interest? <laughs> Stupid. Should we call it off? You want to call me the winner? No. You okay. Can't stop okay. Oh All right, I'm ready. <laughs> you just said it. Go ahead, Dan. Right, we're almost there. We're almost there. I thought that's what you wanted. I Two categories and go two ahead. One. Go ahead. Bullshit. Oh my god, this is bullshit. All right, this Ethan. Is stupid. Uh, what are the three states of matter? You can resign any. You can end this anytime you want. Do you know what the three states of matter are? It's your question. Gas. Mm. Liquid. Wow. Solid. Ooh, I'm so wet from that. But you got late all the time in high three. school with that knowledge. <laughs> <laughs> so fucking hot. I'm not trying to turn you on. I'm trying to take your money. Mm-hmm. Sure. Do you understand how humiliating it would be to lose to someone who doesn't know that Egypt's real? Do you want... <laughs> Whatever. I'm trying to make it... Look, I'm trying to make an interesting You're show. You're so jealous of me. It's insane. I'm trying to make an interesting show. I didn't no, want to sit here and talk about, like, what's wrong with Trisha every episode. I wanted to make it, like, more interesting. <laughs> yeah, like the highlights. You always say, Trisha Paytas versus Gabby Hanna. Trisha Paytas And you know... I don't even get a percentage of the highlights. You get all the highlights and you use my name every single time. I mean, I do, do that with every guy. You want to, you want, so you, you want me to read. Because I'm not a guest. It's, I'm not a guest. You, when you do it with Ela, you're not like, Ela this. It's always just like, whatever the topic is you're discussing. Mm -hmm. You think about that a you lot. You literally baited me last time. Like, who do you hate the most? Like, who, like all this stuff. Like, and you're like, so you have an issue with Anthony Medea. Bring up drama from eight months ago for a shitty highlight. 
No, it wasn't for the highlight. I was just curious. You want? You really want to cut of that highlight? Yeah, what? I really want to cut of that highlight. So, so are you, you? So you suggested maybe that I recoup the cost and then split it it's on the still, highlights channel? Yeah. You want to do that? Mm -hmm. Or just put me in touch with the people who do Teddy Fresh so I can make my own clothing line. The people who make Teddy Fresh? Mm -hmm. Hila. No, like the people who like manufacture. I need like a team too. Oh, you mean our employees? Yeah, and then that way you can have the podcast highlights and we'll call it even. Just you put want, me in touch. You want my them. team? But my team, they work full time for Teddy Fresh. Okay, you know well, that. we can find, can we find another team? Like put together another team like you guys did Teddy Fresh, but for me. Oh my God, dude. It's not that easy. It's very difficult. I have an idea for a clothing brand. Fine, whatever. I'll do it myself. What is it? Von Dutch wants to clap with me, so maybe I'll just do that. Wait, what's your idea? I'm gonna wear it every episode and promote Von Dutch. I'm you, not gonna tell you. You think I'm gonna? You think that we're competing in the clothing? I'd industry? kill you guys in the clothing. I think that's what it is. Like I just would like murder you guys in that, oh. and not a group of crows. <laughs> so you want my team to make a competing brand? <laughs> <laughs> the fuck? How about we get a percentage? Like I feel like that's fair. Like take a percentage. Like you know. Anyways, we can talk about later when we never talk. We never talk outside this show. It's like, hey, what's up? Bye. <sighs> can we just you go? Wanna, do you want to resign? It seems no, like you, you want to resign. No, because you know I could actually win now. Let's go. R last All right. Round, I mean, I just want to end it so that we can. Um, well, we only yeah. have a couple more questions uh -oh. here. Wait, I thought we were doing no, geography. No, wait. We have, another, we have another category. Yeah, Dan. that's not fair. You can't Don't end bullshit it us, Dan. Winning. Bullshit, Dan. I, Don't fucking end it just because I'm winning. we two hours if Fuck we have to. Dan. There's only <laughs> Dan. A couple no, more questions what? in oh. this category. Oh, yeah. Relax. Fuck yeah, I, get it. I was Relax. on your okay, muscles. What the hell? Really? Yeah, that's Is crazy. that impressive? Oh my god. Really? <laughs> you're impressed? Do like, you, you work out or no? No. Wow. Low key impressed. What are you? Oh, it's because you're on top. Because you have more weight oh. to hold yourself. Oh, really? Yeah. Right now that I'm not. Yeah, that's good though. That's really good. All right, don't touch me. That's insane. Freak. Also, thank you so much for that sweatshirt I wear all the time. The last Teddy Friday. Oh yeah. I literally wear that yeah. all the time. I'm really happy you like it because I don't wear it. So it's amazing. I never know if you hate or like me like genuinely. I genuinely don't care like about you, go, you, but like you go, I, like you really convincing me that you hate me and you're gonna leave, and then you go, "Thank you for the jacket. I love that jacket so much." Yeah, yeah, but that's what I'm saying. I'm indifferent to you. Like I don't think about you outside of this. Like I think it's cool because, like, oh, you have like your own thing going, and mm -hmm. I have my own thing going, so it's cool. We did like this yeah. collab thing, yeah. but I don't think about you outside of this ever. I'm gutted, but like not in a bad way. Like I'm not like, oh my god, I hate Ethan. It's that's just more good. like, no, yeah. I'm glad you don't hate me. Mm -hmm. I just indifferent. That's good. Like I leave here and like don't. Think I have about positive you. feelings for you. I mean, you have feelings for me? Not yeah. like romantic, like wow. friendship. This is so Do awkward. you have something wrong with your head? Because you think that any interest a guy shows in you, like there, there's such a thing as like friendship, right? Mm -hmm. Not every, all male interest means they want to fuck mm, you. I don't think there's a thing as like guy friends. Like if Moses had a girlfriend, I'd be like, no. Like a friend that's a girl, no. Yeah, but we're not friends like that. But like I like mm -hmm. you as a friend. It doesn't mean I want to fuck I you. I think you just like like me as like someone to do a podcast with. Because same. I can do both. Mm. I mean, I like, like, I like it's awkward afterwards. Like, after we're done, it's so and we like, not. yeah, we like talk even before. You're just very, like, we had a really nice conversation, I thought, together out front of the house before you left. No, we didn't. What about what? We were talking about, I was looking at your yeah, car. Yeah, you're just like, oh, I want this car. I was like, cool. <sighs> All right, okay. <laughs> so let's just get on with it. Okay. You're annoying me now. You're annoying me. And we're going to finish these rounds because that's not fair to just cut him off now that he's winning. Let's just do rapid fire because this shit's fucking okay. stalling. How many more questions we have? Just go. Just no more questions about meta questions. Oh, you're the one that keeps saying it. Go, Dan. Don't wait. Just go. Okay. The earth has four layers. Who's this for? The, this is for Trisha. The earth has four layers, the thickest of which is the mantle. What's the thinnest layer of the earth called? The foreskin. The thinnest layer of the earth? Correct. Oh, thank you. I got a point. Sorry. No, wait, what? You didn't Thank answer. You were just clarifying the question. She, your answer to the question was a question? Ah, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. I thought I said something and I was like, oh, I got it right. What is, what is the just... thinnest layer called? The ozone. That is incorrect. It's the crust. The crust. Baby, let's fucking go. Right. This is so stupid. Well, animals, let's go. animals without backbones are known as Ethan. <laughs> it's not as Ethan. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I am kind of sluggish. Um, let's see. Stand up without look. without a vertebrae is called a uh, invertebrae. What, what's your answer? Invertebrae. Okay, that's correct. Thank you. Mm. All right, that's the end of science. Uh, I thought he went first. You're wrong. You went first. 
What's the score, AB? <laughs> what? 19, Ethan. You pick science as the category. 19, you 16. Went first. Okay, and you're go. suffering now. Let's go. Let's go all with right. fucking geography because you picked these bullshit geography. categories. Geography. I didn't. AB did it all. I had nothing to do with this it. This is so bullshit. This is like when you guys picked my dates for The Bachelor and I hated all of them. Look at you. Cry. You're in a relationship. You met your boyfriend you, through yeah, that. Yeah, what the f- oh, How dare Steve you? privately DM. How oh my God. dare you we, question we, my matchmaking? Oh my God. You should be You should be thanking me. You should be saying all praise to Ethan. Your life is good now. Now because of me. When I saw the people you picked for me, I literally cried that night that anybody would have been better than the people you picked. I'm like, you nobody cried? wants me. It literally so cried. It literally cried. You should, see, you should seek help. No, everyone You no. cried. Yeah. Okay, let's go. Rapid fire. Let's go. All right, rapid look, fire. So look, Ethan, we put the call out. Those are the people those are the people that wanted to, to date you. Your stupid interns picked them because they're also those types of people. So they picked like them. you expected some A-list celebrities, but like they just weren't interested. I just have a First of all, not true because a lot of they didn't apply. Jay Moore hit me up on Bumble. Okay, I mean fine, but Jay, Jay Moore's not a list, by the way. But at least he's someone better than the eighteen-year-old ginger from Colorado that applied. I thought you wanted a little fucking. I fuck did say eighteen. You said the minimum age twenty-eight. Oh well, that yeah, you're right. They fucked up. Oh my up. god, yes, exactly. That's true. Go ahead, Dan. All right, here we go. Oh, Paul, uh, I'm very sorry. How many continents are there, oh. uh, Ethan? How many continents? Man, I haven't thought about that in a while. Let's see. Mm. Mm. Just answer it. This is so mm. stupid. Mm. 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 One, two, three. Ethan, this is four, so stupid. Five, seven. Wow, great. Seven is correct. Trisha, what? what country is Paris the capital of? France. That's right. France. In what you country are the yeah, famous uh, pyramids of Giza? Ethan, so, repeat that. I was insult. I was busy insulting Trisha. <laughs> what Super. country are the famous pyramids of Giza? If they're so famous, why don't I know? <laughs> Stupid. The pyramids of Giza, mm. uh, Mexico. No, Egypt. You suck. Oh, those are oh, the pyramids. I guess you don't know about. Oh, Egypt. I poor okay. Giza. I Giza. <laughs> yeah. You know, there's pyramids in Mexico. Yeah, I got okay, it. Yeah. Great. I forgot. I haven't thought about Giza in a while. Right. I I'm, I'm don't like have fantasies about fucking a pharaoh or whatever you do in the bedroom. Ramses, we play that. We role play Ramses and Moses. Gross. Yeah. Wait, Moses was like cast away. Yeah, they're brothers too. So do you like put him in the bathtub in a basket and like <laughs> pretend he's floating down a river? <laughs> like what? How do you role play that? Stupid. Let's or do you go. have a cane? Do you ever fucking like? Yeah, we have one at the house. Gross. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Do you guys? <laughs> do you guys? Do shit with a cane like he's Moses parting the sea on you? Always. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) What city? Gross. Trisha, what city is the White House located? Washington, D.C. That's right. Okay, cool. Second grade. (laughs) Here we go. Ethan, what state is called the Lone Star State? Texas. In what state is the Grand Canyon located, Trisha? It is in... Nevada? Close. It's in Arizona. That's not true. It is true. <laughs> uh, a Vegas vacation. Chevy Chase swings across the Grand Canyon and gets yeah, crushed. Yeah, it's close, but it's not in That's Las Vegas. That's Vegas vacation. Vegas. Right. Okay. Well, it's true. Well, it is in the movie. This is all, it's all fake. Go ahead. Just tap out anytime. Go ahead, Dan. How about no? We could talk about something what else. What three countries are located in North America? So Mexico, funny. United States, Canada. Wow. To travel from New York to London, one must fly over what ocean, Trisha? Atlantic. That's right. Got me nervous. Moving though. on to third grade here. <laughs> wow. Ethan, what's the longest river in the world? Um, that would be the uh, <laughs> the Nile. That is incorrect. It's the Amazon. Whoa, what an on idiot. What <laughs> continent is the country of Greece Amazon. located, Trisha? Ah, oh, fuck. We talk about this too. Fuck. What's the question? <sighs> what continent is the country of mm. Greece continents. located on? Continents. What are continents? Hold on. Oh, my God. I know continents. See, fuck. This... What? No, I just find it interesting that you have, like, these huge... We have discussions about, like, literally this. I'm like, where is Greece? Like, I ask all the time. Um, the con- Gre- Greece is in the continent of Europe. That's right. Hey. What, is, hey. what is the name for a body of land that's completely surrounded by water, Ethan? <laughs> so stupid. Island. What is the capital of New York, <laughs> Trisha? Don't you say it. Don't you dare say it. That's in Hamilton. 
<laughs> That's a Hamilton lyric. It is. I swear to God. Hmm. Where's that musical theater knowledge, Trisha? Right. No, it's not Hamilton. I swear to God, it's in Hamilton. Like many times. <laughs> the capital of New York. I have like a couple of guesses. Okay. Well, take one. What's one of them? Your first one is your answer, but I'll entertain more. What's the score, AB? It is 23 Ethan, 20 Trisha. <sighs> oh. It's closer than I thought. Albany. That's right. Ooh. I was going to say Buffalo, so thank God. But yeah. Keemstar lives it. in Buffalo, yeah. and I don't think By he... By definition, <laughs> Buffalo is a shithole. Yeah. Keemstar, whatever city Keemstar lives in is a shithole. Where is Albany in yeah. Hamilton? Correct. He always says the Hamil Albany is the seat of power. Uh, there's corruption in Al Albany. You singing that so. song? Well, you're wrong. That's not. You Hamilton. just lost the Hamilton Literally quiz. Literally not. I'll Hamilton. play you the song. Okay, play it for me. When he's talking about how he's a good, whatever. Let's not it's get sidetracked. Right, fourth grade. <laughs> uh, here we go, Ethan. What is the largest? Uh, where is the largest desert in the world located? That would be hmm, the largest desert in the world. Hmm. There's a couple options here. <laughs> There's actually only one. <laughs> Is it, uh, hmm. Oh my God. <laughs> Why are you so, what? I mean, you're the one who's like, let's go rapid fire. You just couldn't take longer on this question. You know it or you don't. I think it's either in, I mean, I'll say Egypt. The, that's not right. Wow. Well, what is it? I mean, it, it's Northern Africa. Okay. Is it part of Egypt or no? Yeah, but I mean, the desert is much more than just Egypt. The so Sahara, what's the, Sahara, the answer? The, the answer is Northern Africa. Yeah, so no. Wait, wait, wait. Northern Africa? Is, is that really a specific enough answer? I probably would have even accepted Africa of just general, but Egypt Okay, is, go ahead. I'm not going to argue yeah. semantics. Is uh, the desert in Egypt? I mean, part of the Sahara does reach into Egypt, yes. So? No. But that's not all of the, it. Over the whole thing they're saying, yeah. so no. Oh, right. You would have said Northern Africa. <laughs> no, I'm not saying that, but if it's... All right, go ahead. I don't, I don't, I don't right. even need... I'm, I didn't need get it. carbon dioxide and it was close to carbon dioxide, so whatever. Different kind Trisha, of what is the largest country by size in the world? The largest country by size? By geographical area. I would say Russia. That would be correct. Wow. Ethan, how many kingdoms... Are part of the United Kingdom. <laughs> so stupid these questions. Uh, three. Sorry, it's four. Oh. Everybody always forgets about Wales. What's the score? Trish was behind by one. Ooh, Ooh closing in. Oh. Neck and neck. Oh. Uh, right. We have one more uh, from this category. Um, the United States and Mexico are separated by this river, Trisha. We're separated by this river. What? There's a river separating us? There's well, literally not. There is. There, you there go from San Diego is. to Tijuana. What's, um... Dude, you either know it or you don't know it. <laughs> Wait, say it again. Say the question one more time. You know the question. <laughs> the, there's a river, there's between, a river between, between Mexico and America. What Or the United States. What, it, you what don't is know it? it. What do you just conjure? It? You just it's, no, I know it. It's a song. <laughs> not him wasn't that. It's like... Oh my God! Me it's everything like the River Jordan. River Jordan. <laughs> River Jordan. There's a. That's not okay. Well, you're wrong. I'm sorry. That's incorrect. Actually, it's, I don't know the, what it is though. You don't know? It's the Rio Grande. The Rio Grande. Hello. <laughs> okay, that's a restaurant right. in Highlands Ranch, Colorado. The Rio cool. Grande. Sorry. Go ahead. Rio uh, yeah. So uh, oh, this makeup is. It's this is like, the last it, category. It's heavy. It feels it sits good. on your face. You were like covers it. you like a mask. I feel like I'm starting to sweat and. Really? You're not going to keep it on? Does it look like I'm sweating? No, I, not at all. You it look like good. so mad. Really? Yeah, you look good. Like, you literally look like me. You think I should be a drag queen? I look like a drag queen, I thought. No, you could be a boy that wears makeup. You think this is attractive? Yeah, I feel like you're going to, like, really milk it and do a bunch of TikToks and shit after this. You're going to be like, oh, oh I yeah. look good. Yeah. I you're, did. like, feeling it. No, well, I think it's funny. You look so much better without the beard. You look homeless with the beard. Now you look like you have some money, kind of. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. So, okay. Let's go ahead. I'm going to have right. more money in this a minute. Is, this, is, this is the last category. This is it. Oh. Uh, and what's the score? I'm up by one. You're up by one. You're up by oh. one. This is way too close. This is dude. for all the marbles. I can't, I can I didn't expect it to be this close. I have to be honest. I thought it was going to be a blowout. So, this is kind of intense. These categories suck. Okay, go. All right. So, if he gets this, he wins. What is the no. 
Yeah. What is the primary language that is spoken in the Canadian province of Quebec? French. Stupid. That's correct. He wins. Great. We love it. Wait, that's all of them? No, no. Wait, I, th- I thought why, there was, why are you oh, tripping? I thought it was the last one. The oh. last category. Last, oh. it's, we're on yeah. The oh my grade. god. Let's just move on. There's too much like preamble. <laughs> Trisha, what? Uh, huh? <laughs> Which country is both an island and a continent? You wish you knew the answer. Oh, stupid. Asia. No, Asia? I'm sorry. It's Australia. Asia is an island. <laughs> oh whatever. I suck. <laughs> Okay, let's go. All right. Uh, what is the name of the sea bordered by Europe to the north and North Africa to the south? A sea that's... Say it again, Dan, please. Uh, <laughs> what is the name of the sea that's bordered... Trisha was exhaling dramatically. And oh, my me. God. It's my breathing. What is the sea that is bordered to the north by Europe and to the south by North Africa? North of Europe? And no, no, no. It's a sea that is bordered by Europe to the north in North it's, Africa. Uh, okay, Europe south. is north of it. Oh my god. Yes. <laughs> and you f- and then and then north Africa, Africa south, is of it. south of it. The Mediterranean. That is correct. Thank you. We're going to get canceled so fast. This podcast is over. Like this is gonna, like the worst. You think this is awful? This is the worst. If I, I literally made fun of someone the other day, specifically Gabby Hanna's podcast where they were like doing cards against humanity on a podcast. Like what the fuck? This is not a YouTube collab. Well, don't you think this that is not you should work harder to make it more entertaining then? Okay, but like a podcast is like talking and topics and like, that's exciting. This is like like, I'm trying something new. If you have stuff that you want to talk about, you can tell me. I mean, I brought some stuff to the table. To be honest, I didn't expect this to go this long. I thought I was going to blow you out. Oh, that we would sounds could, sexual. It's not. You're going to blow me out? No, it's not sexual. Okay. AB, is it sexual? No, it is not. It's oh. not. <laughs> I love that he's back there. Oh, my God. Why did I not know you were back there? Ask me like, any question you want. Oh, my God. Is this it? Are we done? Is this the last question? Uh, yeah. Uh, two more. Um no. <laughs> Oh, wait, no. This is the last question. Okay, I'm sorry. so I lost. I was behind behind two. Yeah, she's lost. Yeah, that's true. Let's you just win. do bonus round. All right. What, the Humiliation mount- round. <laughs> Let's see. There's three. I have three questions left. If okay. you can get all three of these right, Trisha, then you'd tie. You want to okay, yeah, go let's for do all that. the marbles what? here? What? Yeah. What kind of bullshit rules is that? <laughs> I'm ready. Oh, the, God, mountain I range that, the mountain range that includes oh. Mount Everest is called what? You already lost. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of wise. The I mountain say. range that. <laughs> hey! Rude. Well, I mean, I see what the questions are. Say it again. The mountain range had what? Mount Everest? The mountain range that includes Mount Everest. All right, come on. You what? already lost. Let's talk about something I else at least. mountains right here. <laughs> I noticed. So, are you going to sell me a Thawi? Yeah, I'll do it right now. I hate I hate when people are like, no, you don't have to just because we're both rich. It's like, fuck that. No, fuck. When did I say that? <laughs> I was like, you send me that money. I'll do it literally right now. I love selling people because I feel so baller. I'm like, oh, yeah. Like, that's just a thousand. So what else? Is there anything else to talk about? Um, what do yeah. you have to? Oh, there is. Oh, yeah. We already talked about everything, right? I don't know. You're the one that seems unsatisfied with the conversation. Oh, my God. Hamilton. He will never be satisfied. Satisfied. God, I hope you're satisfied. Do you like Hamilton? Uh, or are you annoyed by it? Moses. You he do? likes it. Mm. Wait, why? I feel like there's. it's always like one person in a relationship likes it and the other person hates it. Oh, is that you? That is my phone number, yeah. I mean, it literally says that is your company. That's my company, yeah. Okay, I'm selling you right now. Let me now. see. Show me the receipt. Okay. Such a good idea that you proposed to pay me. (laughs) I love this. Okay, I'm going to send you a note with it too. Hold on. Oh, oh, okay. Okay, yes. So, uh. Hold on. Wait, I'm sending this to you. Oh, now I need an authorization code. Hold on one second. Okay. I'll wait patiently. Okay, hold on. Oh my gosh. Okay. Woo. Okay. AB. Um, AB. Who's that? It's him. Who? The guy up here in the back. Okay, so I zelled you. Oh shit! You sent me a little extra, <laughs> and I said five hundred because you need it. She sent me a fifteen hundred, an extra five hundred because you need it. Maybe you could like take Elon on a date so you can finally get laid. Thank you. Maybe you could buy her like a little Cartier bracelet or something. Is like just it. your way of trying to insult me because I won? What? No, never. So, do you want to talk about anything else before we wrap it up? I agree. I don't know if that was entertaining, but I'm sure the people in the awful. comments will tell us. Literally, I'm not promoting this episode. Don't ever but text I will... me to be like, oh, hey, promote this. I'm like, no, thank you. And would you promote it if you won? <laughs> yeah, probably. Yeah. But I didn't. And this is stupid because the categories are stupid. Watch Billy Madison at the end of the decade. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Let's do something. Multiple... AB, just do something real fast. <gasps> Can I just, okay. Look up, he, he could just do musical trivia. 
Google? Oh. Is that what you want? Oh, yeah. Google Just, it. Well, I don't know anything about that, but oh go ahead. Oh, my gosh. I literally that. don't know anything about it. I mean, but go ahead. Give me, yeah, $3,000. Fuck no. I wouldn't put a dollar on that. <laughs> Just give us some questions. Also, can I, okay, make a, so, can, I make a, can I make a plea for our first guest? Our only guest. The only guest I care about. I don't want any other guests. Can, um, Sasha Baron Cohen has a new movie called Borat 2 coming out. And you, we love Borat. I love Sasha Baron Cohen. You think I call Sasha Oh, Cohen? I saw him on a first class flight and he gave me like a look. He was like. You think you want to fuck you? Yeah. Obviously. <laughs> No, I really love him. Sasha Baron Cohen, I love you as Borat. My boyfriend sounds like Borat. I literally was like, oh my God, do you sound like Borat? I said in the shower and he actually does. Like, it's so funny how Moses? crazy it is. Yeah. But I can't say You sound like Borat? Are you insulted by that? It seems like an insult. Yeah, in the shower. But can he's I just you, tell- he's, She's saying you sound like an idiot. <laughs> he does kind of. The accent is not sexy. And I tell him that all the time. I'm like, why is your accent so unsexy? Like, everyone else's accent is sexy. Um, Sasha Baron Cohen is Israeli, though. What's up? Anyways, can we have him on the podcast? Is there no? anything that bothers you about her? No, Nothing. he never gets annoyed with you. You would never dare answer that question. If no, he would. Oh, you would. There's nothing that bothers you about her. What about the fact she doesn't know what gravity is? No, she would want. She would win if you gave her the right category. Thank you, babe. She wins every game. I do win every game. That's why it's annoying that I didn't lose this. What does that mean? She would win if you gave her the right categories. Yeah, if you if you cherry picked every no, random trivia no. thing I know and you asked gave, me, of course I would win. That because make any it wasn't sense. diverse enough. Like the people who know science, history, and geography all know that. But if you know like creative stuff, there should have been even even creative categories versus like science Go and math. Go ask some bullshit okay. about. Yeah. Okay, I got some uh, music trivia. Which famous music group was formerly known as the New York? I'm sorry, the New Yardbirds. Wait, first of all, this is not musical theater. This is just music. Theater. <laughs> that, I mean, it's got to be theater. I mean, musical theater like is completely Broadway. different than music. Yes, I mean, I don't. Know. But like, yes, knowing, ask, knowing about theater is not like cultural literacy. I mean, but it's you remember like, the show Beat the Geeks? They always had like musical theater, movies, television. Like there was multiple categories, and then there was like. What a do you want? You want one. television? No, I want musical theater. Okay, go. Hurry, hurry, okay. Amy. You have five seconds. Wow, great. Okay, we're out. We're <laughs> no. out of Wait, why can't we have Sasha Baron Cohen on this podcast? Because I'm a fucking nobody. How I'm about fucking... Rick Moranis? I don't think he even does interviews. How about Mel Brooks? Mel Brooks. He's like, is he alive? Yeah. He's oh, alive, he's but he's in his 90s and yeah. it's a pandemic. Anyone else? Any, uh, how about Jesus? He's not Jewish. Let me. How about Hitler? He could teach you. We'll bring him back. Reanimate his body. <laughs> Do we have the same lashes? Trisha, what yeah. Broadway <laughs> Trisha, what Broadway musical features the song Good Morning Baltimore? Hairspray. Good morning, Baltimore. Every day's like an oh open God. door. Dude, Every this is a can night. of worms, bro. I don't know that. Oh, we should have, yeah, ask Ethan. Ask Ethan the questions. Yeah, go ahead. Ask him, get one right. All right. Ask me a question. Uh, while the term Broadway generally refers to venues with a seating capacity of at least <laughs> 500 people, smaller theaters are referred to Off as... Off-Broadway. That's correct. See, I know shit. That wasn't really a musical theater. That was what very technical. What Broadway okay. musical <laughs> features the song, and I am telling you, I'm not going. Go. No, no, it's your turn, Trisha. No, turn. Ethan should answer, because I know all these. Of course I know all these, so it's like not what's fair. The, uh, qu- what's the question? What I'll Broadway musical after. features the song, and I'm telling you, I'm not going. Oh, that was um, Spider-Man the Musical. No. <laughs> okay. YouTube reference. And I am telling you, I'm not going. Oh. I'm not living without hey, you. Hey, hey. And you, and you, and you, y'all gonna love me. So what's the answer, Trisha? Oh, Dream Girls. Dream so Girls are is you, correct. Are you, you're, you're really into <laughs> theater. You. And um, did you want to be an actress or like a I actor? always wanted to be an actress, but I can't act or sing or dance. So I'm kind of screwed. <laughs> <laughs> right. So you did the next best so thing. So I pay people like Beetlejuice. I like paid a bunch of like professional dancers and stuff to like dance around me and pretend like I'm in a musical. Mm. <laughs> it works. <laughs> I was singing in the kitchen it today. I was good. doing like a cool. thing. I was doing a duet to my TikTok and I was like singing like really belting. I think I always sound really good until I hear myself back. And literally, mo- yeah, oh the- my God, what is with these dogs? What do you, how dare you? He's so sweet. Oh, okay. Yeah, sorry. Fredo. Love you. Okay. Anyways. Sorry, I'm going to take this off so we can pick up Alfredo. Sorry. Uh, can I pick up the brown one? Come here. Yeah, you can pick Toto. His name is. And TM, and TM, come here, Toto. Can I break that one? Wow. Away? You, hello. Go get, go to come Trisha. Here. Oh, go he's to so Trisha. scared of me. <laughs> Literally, no. Oh. Don't come <laughs> here. Why doesn't he love me? Don't mess up my makeup, Alfredo. Shredder, can I chase him. Here Shredder, me. Shredder doesn't like being picked up usually. Oh my God, he runs for me. Why Shredder. does he hate me? Alfredo's really sweet. He'll let you hold him. Alfredo will yeah. definitely let you hold. No offense, Alfredo. What? He's so cute. All right. Is there anything else? Oh, We're just waiting here. Come here, Shredder. Baby. Come here. Come here. Oh, you like my face? Okay, that's fine. So, is there anything else? Okay. Let's do musicals with dogs in them. Go, Annie. Okay, I'm done. This episode <laughs> is over. Um, well, we well, okay, I mean, look, we're trying different things. 
Are you glamoring shot with my dog? Yeah, I look really cute with this dog, actually. <laughs> Brad, so cute. Hi, I'm Al Woods, and this is Bruiser Woods. We're both Gemini vegetarians. <laughs> That's my costume today. It actually goes with my costume. Wait, you never told me what you're dressed up as. Al Woods from Legally Blonde. Oh. It's not up to me. Just let me be All right. legally blonde. Check out my TikTok, just like Fish88. <sighs> oh, my baby, do you want to come Okay, with me? well, thanks for watching, everybody. I am the trivia master. Mm -hmm. Obviously weak in the English department, but came back strong in all the other departments that people... Weak in the bicep department, too. You know what I'm saying? You lied about that? <laughs> oh, I forgot. No, actually, like, Loki, you're strong. Oh. Huh. I'm Loki hot today. Like, I don't really care for you either way, but you're Loki hot today. Okay, whatever. Um, you was Loki hot today, too, though. Oh. Yeah, she always looks good. This, uh, I was gonna talk all right, about I got to wrap it up. Oh, my God. I just saw myself in the... You look so gorgeous. We didn't talk enough about your James Charles look. What do you want to say? Ask me something. You never ask me anything. I always come here and I'll deal with your bullshit and you're singing I, and like, oh, <laughs> Hamilton and <laughs> fucking my first time I say. cats and whatever. This is my first time I'm saying. I ask all the time. I'm like, how much how much sex do you guys have a week? Which I feel like everyone said you were lying. You said you had it once a week. You definitely don't. You think I have less? For sure. Like probably. Wait, what do you mean everybody's lying? Yeah, everyone's like, oh, Ethan's not telling Who's me. Who's everybody? AB, would my comments? telling the truth? Yes. Yeah, there you go. Stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Can I have him like for a week? Fred, is that okay? No, Fred? he's not down. Why not? He's definitely not down. I he's looking at me like, save me. No, he loves me. <laughs> Here, let me put you up a little more. <gasps> oh, my God. Fred is like, save me, please. Oh, I love you. All right, him. I'm over it. Get out. No, oh, my God. Can we TikTok real quick? Yeah, sure. Oh, are you ending the show? Do we get sponsored? Do we get sponsored this week? Oh, no. yikes. Shame. Fuck. Wait, so... Uh, Come on, let me out of this. What? No, I'm, I got Ooh. It. Okay. Okay, Pector. Oh, I thought we were done. Okay, bye.